Assalamu alaikum and hi everyone. Now we will learn about subtopic 3.3 differentiation of trigonometric function. Trigonometric function sin x, cos x, and tangent x. For this subtopic, I will divide it into three parts. The first part, which is for this video, we will learn how to differentiate the basic trigonometric function such as y equal to sin x, y equal to 4 cos x, y equal to tangent x plus sin x. The next part which is part 2, we will learn how to differentiate y equal to sin 3x minus 7. Actually, sin 3x minus 7 Walaupun ada minus Tapi dia sebenarnya Satu term trigo sahaja Okay As we learned before Y equal to sin x Sin tak boleh duduk sorang-sorang Tak kisahlah sin ke cos ke tangent ke Dia konsep dia macam ln Okay ln pun sama Ln log tak boleh duduk sorang-sorang Dia mesti ada bracket dia tu Ada partner dia tu Okay So for this one Y equal to sin x Maksudnya Bracket dia x lah Okay Part 2 Dia up sikit Y equal to Sin 3x minus 7 Maksudnya Bracket untuk sin ni adalah 3x minus 7 So how to differentiate The second part Next The third part Y equal to Sin to power of 4 7x plus 2 Kalau kita tengok Pattern part 3 Dengan part 2 Nampak macam sama lah Tapi kalau kita tengok betul Part 3 Dia ada kuasa Dia ada power Okay tak kisah lah Power 2 ke 3 ke 5 ke 10 ke 100 ke Okay Bila trigo tu dia ada kuasa Macam mana kita nak differentiate Okay kalau kita tengok formula Dalam buku Yes memang dia ada formula Tapi Kalau kita form konsep dia Actually kita tak perlu pun hafal formula tu Kita boleh differentiate Guna kaedah yang kita dah belajar sebelum ni Buat step by step Okay For the part 1 uh, This video We will learn how to differentiate sin x, cos x and tangent x Okay, dia ada formula The first formula is When we want to differentiate sin x We will get cos x Differentiate cos x Negative sin x Yang ni kena hati-hati Okay, sin x differentiate dapat cos x Cos x differentiate negative sin x And when we want to differentiate tangent x It is actually equal to second squared x But note that the precession of this formula Are only true for angle which are measured in radian Now, let's look at the example Example 1a, we want to differentiate 2 sin x minus 3 cos x. So, uh, kat depan ni tak ada y kan? Bila tak ada y, cara kita nak tulis dia adalah d over dx 2 sin x minus 3 cos x. Okay. Sebab dia tak ada y kat depan. Kalau lah dia ada y, y equal to 2 sin x Barulah kita boleh tulis dy over dx Equal to da 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 Okay Jadi uh, Kalau dia tak tulis y kat depan Maksudnya kita tulis macam ni lah D over dx Mean kita nak differentiate 2 sin x minus 3 cos x Okay 2 sin x minus 3 cos x First kita determine dulu Dia ada berapa term dan apa operation dia Operasi dia Okay. 2 sin x Satu term Minus 3 cos x Satu term And dia punya operation adalah minus Maksudnya Tak perlulah buat UV product rule tu Kita boleh differentiate macam Biasa So 2 sin x Bila kita differentiate 2 sin x 2 sin x Kalau tengok formula Kita akan dapat cos x Minus 3 
cos x Bila 3 cos x Differentiate dapat 3 Cos x Negative Sin x Ok So lepas tu barulah kita simplify 2 cos x Negative 3 Times negative sin x Positive 3 Sin x Next, we want to differentiate B, 4 cos x plus 3 tangent x So, D over dx 4 cos x plus 3 tangent x Again, kalau kita tengok betul-betul Dia ada satu term Plus 3 tangent x So, dia ada satu term Okay, 4 cos x 4 cos x Okay, perlu tak kita buat UV? Okay, tak perlulah sebab 4 Bila kita cari U prime dia Dia akan dapat 0 jugalah Jadi sebab tu kita boleh differentiate je macam biasa Kita terus boleh differentiate 4 cos x 4 cos x 4 cos x Differentiate Negative sin x Plus 3 tangent x So plus 3 tangent x Differentiate Second square x So kita akan dapat Negative 4 Sine x Plus 3 Second square x Now proceed to example 2 We want to differentiate Set 2 sine x Bila set 2 sin x Ada orang dia terus buat u, b Okay, u dia set 2 Okay, perlu tak sebenarnya kita buat uv product rule Bila u set 2, u prime dia 0 Sebab dia tak ada x Jadi sebenarnya, kalau kita tak buat product rule pun Tak apa, kita boleh differentiate terus macam biasa So, bila kita differentiate Set 2 Sin x Kita akan dapat Set 2 Sin x differentiate dapat cos x That's it For 2a And then 2b Kita nak differentiate 4 sin x minus 5 Minus 6 cos x So Okay Ataupun kita boleh tulis macam ni Y equal to 4 sin x minus 5 minus 6 cos x ha, boleh juga macam ni so kita akan nak buat dia punya dy over dx 4 sin x minus 5 minus 6 cos x so tak perlulah buat uv ke apa ke so 4 sin x differentiate akan dapat 4 cos x minus 5 differentiate habislah negative Minus 6 cos x So Minus 6 Differentiate cos x Akan dapat Negative sin x And then kita simplify Kita akan dapat 4 Cos x Negative dengan negative Plus 6 sin x Okay so that's it On how to differentiate Basic trigonometric function sin x cos x dengan tangent x kalau kita tengok part 1 ni dia punya perut dia x maksudnya basic je lah sin x cos x tangent x ok in part 2 next video kita akan up sikit dia masih lagi satu term trigo sin dalam bracket maksudnya sin dalam bracket tu ada something ok tapi dia satu term je sin dalam bracket Cos dalam bracket Tangent dalam bracket Okay Yang tu Kita akan belajar nanti uh, Macam mana nak differentiate dia So See you in the next video Don't forget to watch the next video Bye